In this lecture, we will discuss the DC's whip and the temperature in LT SPICE. DC's whip. So DC's whip is a method in SPICE to vary a DC value of independent source such as voltage, current, or temperature. By doing so, you can get a DC transfer function of a device or to plot a current versus voltage curve of a device. The syntax is dot DC followed by the source name and uh, the star value, stop value, and the increment. In LT Spice, the DC sweep can also be nested up to three variables. In this example, we will sweep the voltage source V1 to get the IV curve of a shocky delta D1. So in this case, V1 is the forward voltage drop of D1. And uh, if you build this schematic, and then you can go to the edit simulation command, go to DC sweep. So you can choose the first source using V1, and uh, the type of sweep is linear. The star value is 0 volt, stop value is 2.5 volt. The increment is 0.01 volt. So if you run the simulation, you have a plot pops up. So uh, the horizontal axis is for V1. And if you move your mouse uh, over D1, until this icon becomes a current probe, you can right click and add the trace of D1's current. This is the IV curve of a diode. So it shows nonlinear uh, current versus voltage characteristic. Temperature in LT spice. So there are two keywords in LT spice to define the temperature. The first one is temp. The default value is 27 degrees C. So this is the default temperature for circuit element instances that don't specify temperature. So this is the temperature we use in circuit simulation. The other one is T norm. The default value is also 27 degrees C. So this is the default temperature at device parameter. For example, if you define a device model in LT Spice, so that's parameter in your syntax. So in simulation, we use temp to change the temperature of, of a circuit elements. So we use temp to change the device temperature. You can also do DC sweep under different temperatures. So in other words, uh, you can change the junction temperature of a semiconductor devices by using dot temp. So there are two equivalent syntaxes. So the first one syntax is dot temp, temperature T1, temperature T2, etc. And which is equivalent to a step command of temperature giving a list of T1, T2, and etc. Example number two gives the IV curve of a diode under various junction temperatures. And you can see this is a new line of defined temperature dot temp 25 and 125. The left figure gives the schematic and the plot. The right figure is the IV curve under the same temperature which is copied from the data sheet uh, of the manufacturer. In order to match with the data sheet, in LT Spice we can change the vertical axis to logarithmic scale. It shows that for the same given forward current, uh, if the device has higher temperature, it has smaller voltage drop. In other words, at the same forward voltage, hotter diode will conduct more current. This is the third example. So we use dot step uh, command of temperature. It will give the same result as before. This is the example number four. Uh, we put temperature in DC sweep as the second source. This is the temperature as the second source. It's also a least sweep. It's the type of sweep is least. The first value is 25 and the second value is 125. So it gives the same result as before, just using different uh, uh, methods. Our previous results show that the temperature coefficient of this specific diode is negative. That means given a positive temperature change, you have a negative voltage change. So the temperature coefficient is negative. In the case of several dials in parallel, because they share the same voltage, and this negative coefficient may become a problem. Because if, for some reason, if a dial is hotter than others, so this scenario will get worse because this hot dial will tend to conduct more current and dissipate more heat until it is overheated and damaged. So this scenario is called the thermal runaway. This is the last example. We put two 
styles in parallel, just different temperature. Uh, how to do that? In LTSpice, you can hold Ctrl key and use the right click over D1, and we can add uh, syntax as temperature equals to 25 at the spice line, 25 degrees C for D1. Similarly, you can give a different temperature as 125 degrees C at D2. If you run the same DC sweep, you will notice that uh, they have different current because the temperature are different. For given the same voltage, uh, delta D2 always conducts more current than D1. So that's all for this lecture. Thank you very much.